when it is they who have provided the spark that's led to the bloodiest and most unending of all wars. America is a mess. It's a complete mess. The Ukrainians are dying. And the Americans are making money. Lots of money. Think about it. The shortage of gas when Russian supplies are blocked will mean that the Americans will gain a lot of money. The increased defense expenditure will mean that the Americans will make a lot of money. They will gain, ladies and gentlemen, they will make a lot of money as thousands of Ukrainians die. The more Ukrainians die, the more money Americans will make. And after the Americans make all of the money, This是2021年的顿内茨克,跟被害的是倒在地上身影的是乌克兰人,扔下炸弹的也是乌克兰人。这里是位在乌克兰东部卢甘斯克的武义镇。乌克兰东部卢甘斯克和顿内茨克统称
So don't lecture us on what we need to do. We are going to look out for yourself. You talk about, you use the phrase geopolitical expediency in, in place of values. You lecture me as an American to an Indian yes, on values, you. and you say I that we are acting in geopolitical expediency. Right. Let me, let me, let you me, allow me, allow me to complete. Allow, allow me to complete, sir. Ex allow me to complete. Hello? Allow me to complete. Where were your values? Where, where were your values? Where were your values when in the first two months of the U.S. invasion of Iraq, 7,186 Iraqi civilians were direct casualties of the war? Was that your expediency? was an expression of your values, Professor Kapchen. The Ukrainians are dying. And the Americans are making money. Lots of money. Every day, every minute that this war continues, the biggest American defense-related manufacturers are seeing their stock prices shoot up and how. The Americans are going to make billions. Maybe trillions will be made out eventually out of this war. And most of that money will come to the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't believe me, just look at the share prices on the American stock exchanges, ladies and gentlemen, of American companies like Lockheed Martin, like General Dynamics, so many others, we say will make a lot of money. The same country that is pushing the Ukrainians, encouraging the Ukrainians into a prolonged conflict. Think about it, the shortage of gas when Russian supplies are blocked will mean that the Americans will gain a lot of money. The increased defense expenditure will mean that the Americans will make a lot of money. Even the fact that countries like Switzerland are beginning to choose a side, what does it mean? It means the Americans will eventually gain, politically, geostrategically, financially. They will gain, ladies and gentlemen, they will make a lot of money as thousands of Ukrainians die. The more Ukrainians die, the more money Americans will make. And after the Americans make all of the money, countries like Japan, countries like the Netherlands, and I won't be surprised, even the Scandinavian countries tomorrow, they will want nuclear arms in the name of nuclear deterrence. And what will happen? We will all end up living in a very, very super nuclearized, extremely dangerous world. Why doesn't the American media ask the American people that question that are we making, are we making billions and trillions at the cost of Ukrainian lives? What's wrong with that question? I said the Ukrainians are brave, but you are making a lot of money. But pointing fingers at the United States okay. Who, okay. will not achieve peace. Okay. Only peace will no, be no, achieved no. when no, Russia no, no. Okay, so this is Ukraine. this is all getting. I think that you should you should, as a responsible uh, citizen of of the free world, uh, please understand that. Don't give me the civilians' argument. Three hundred thousand of your local allies in Afghanistan, who worked and fought alongside you, helped you run Afghanistan. You left, and you said, "Let them rot, let them die." Those Afghans holding on to the wheels of the plane as your soldiers fled, Mark, they were civilians. The ones who hung on and fell from the sky, they were, they were civilians. So please don't tell me either about democracy and don't tell me about civilians. You, use, you, use, you have no loyalty. You use allies and abandon them at your own sweet will and you leave them to the dogs, much like you know, how, how the biblical Daniel was thrown to the lions. The USA abandoned its allies. But, 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 but uh, you know, you have to understand out here. You leave people to be devoured. We have been told by, by our friends in Europe and the United States, European not so loudly because they are buying Russian oil in, uh, in huge now quantities. Uh, the United States, because it would like to sell its oil, it's a different situation. But we have been told, stop buying Russian oil. I mean, what are you telling us? You're telling us a poor country, uh, you know, a country with 300 million poor people, you're telling that country to stop buying oil at a discounted rate from a tested friend and instead buy highly more expensive oil from the United... I'm really shocked. I mean, you know, America is a friend of India, the UK, the EU are friends of India. How can friends of India tell us 
to make hundreds of millions of Indian people suffer so that they can get vindicated. Oh, there are complete sanctions that they themselves are, are, are breaking. The Europeans are breaking the sanctions daily. Uh, uh, I mean, daily they're breaking. The Japanese are breaking the sanctions daily. Why do you expect a poor country to keep them? Is this enlightenment? Is this liberalism? That you, that you want to go ahead and punish the people of a country and punish other people in my, even poorer countries for just da daring to treat that country and its people as human beings. America fled for Afghanistan with an incompetence exhibited in frightening pictures of Afghans hanging on to the wheels of their transport aircraft. But he says, no, India is being shaky about Ukraine. This is his war. He started it. And he needs to take both the responsibility and accountability for it. America has absolutely no business, no business attacking us anymore. When it is they who have provided the spark that's led to the bloodiest and most unending of all wars. America is a mess. It's a complete mess. And we made it clear to the Americans that the only corner that we are in is the Indian corner. By refusing to ally completely with a shaky America, we have grown in stature and re-established the core of our really independent foreign policy. There's nothing shaky about it. There's something very decisive about it. India will not clean up America's mess. They have littered the whole world over the decades with their war machine. It's their litter and they should clean up their act. What we need to do is we need to look forward to the future. And doing that means working together to stop this vicious war that Putin has launched against Ukraine. And, yeah, but you know, I, again, I, I, I tried to bring up India, but it kind of, you know, went by the wayside because I frankly, I think most Indians don't want to talk about this. They feel increasing pressure from the West no, I want and to from talk the United Derek, States in particular. Derek, Derek I want to talk yeah, about and it. I'd like fact, to I want talk to talk about, about it. it with you. I want to talk about it with you. I, I, I want to talk about it as well. Will you talk about it with me? Will you talk about it with Absolutely. me? Absolutely. I will put one question to you and you tell me. Let's talk about India, okay? Now, fact of the matter is, please, Derek, do not shoot off the shoulder of the Ukrainian people. It's becoming ugly. The way in which Americans are using the Ukrainian people, you feel that you can shoot off their shoulder to justify everything. Now, I'll tell you why. I'll take you back to 2018. In 2018, you tried to stymie Russian arms exports by threatening America's own friends, and you say India is a friend, with sanctions if we buy Russian weapons and military equipment, right? We had a, a, a six billion S-400 deal with the Russians. You tried your best, you threatened sanctions on India. There was no Ukraine war then. There was no Ukraine war then. The problem is, the problem is that you felt your own exports, your arms exports to India, which had from 2008 to 2018 reached $15 billion. You became India's number two weapon supplier. But you weren't happy with that. When we wanted to do an S-400 deal, you turned around and you said, listen India, better do what we tell you to do, otherwise we'll throw sanctions at you. What you did not expect, Derek, that we looked you in the eye and basically told you to buzz off. And that's what you had to do. So since you want to talk about India, I've thrown an extremely straightforward example to you. What I'm trying to tell you is that you've been a very bad bully. <laughs> you were a bully before the Ukrainian war, and you're a bully now. And you don't know how to now deal with see, countries like okay. India, which are telling you that stop wagging your finger at us. I'm so, so sorry to intervene, but I want to take you on on that very point. Uh, before, before we lose that point, therefore you are yourself admitting that a very shrewd America is, is extending this war and want Amer Russia to be isolated, not because they care for a single Ukrainian. It's because it is, as you just admitted in your preceding sentence, it means billions and billions, maybe trillions, in business for the United States of America. You just, you just admitted it. Uh, you know, you just that's, made the admission when you said... 
More hydrocarbons. One minute, one minute. I caught you in there. I caught you. I, I'm very, you know, I, 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 one minute, sir, one minute. Let's, let's get into that in detail. And I would, say, I would say that, Professor, thank you for your inadvertent admission because you ended up saying a very major thing. <laughs> and what you're basically trying to say is that American action throughout this war cannot be looked at solely through the lens of altruism or humanity. Uh, America is a shrewd country. Americans are very shrewd businessmen. Why do they Americans want Russia are... isolated? Not because they care at all for the Ukrainians. Indians care about the Ukrainians. Americans don't. Indians are providing humanitarian aid to the Ukrainians. You are taking them to the altar and seeing them sacrificed because you are direct economic beneficiaries of such isolation. So it's this, again uh, going back to the oil we, business. And where, I wish, I I wish America looked at the world through any other angle than just the oil business. Yes, please. Don't say that I'm saying no, that somehow the United States launched this war for economic advantage. That's kind of what no, we no. Would used to call vulgar Marxism. No, we can call, talk about vulgar, vulgar capitalism as well. Uh, I don't want to put any, uh, you know, adjectives or epithets or prefixes to any particular ideology. You have wanted Russia out of the way like because you can't own all of the Middle East unless you neutralize Russia. Ukraine has given you a marvelous opportunity to do that, but I, I wish, I wish that so many thousands of Ukrainians wouldn't have to be killed. Don't believe any of the American propaganda, ladies and gentlemen. America is in trouble. Don't believe any of the propaganda channels like CNN. Switch them off. The real story is that America is so desperate, so desperate, that it is repeatedly sending its representatives to Venezuela to beg for an agreement with the Venezuelans for more oil. The Americans are even willing to compromise with Iran. And the Iranians are getting very aggressive with the Americans over the nuclear agreement. And I know that what I'm saying will upset the Americans. But I also have thousands of Americans who watch Republic and bless us for the truth we tell them about their own country. In the new world, where everyone will have to look out for themselves, every nation. I suggest just one thing to the Americans, please, Americans, you please look out for yourself. We will look out for ourselves. And the world is not your responsibility, dear Americans. The world will look out for itself. And the world, dear Americans, in case you are not noticing, even now, even now, has changed. As thousands of Ukrainians die, the more Ukrainians die, the more money Americans will make. As thousands of Ukrainians die, the more Ukrainians die, the more money Americans will make. As thousands of Ukrainians die, the more Ukrainians die, the more money Americans will make.